Good morning guys, how are you today? I am in our backyard against the block wall where we planted creeping fig about five months ago. We installed fencing line, fencing wire at the time of us planting the creeping fig. I probably didn't need to put it in all the way down here so low, that's okay, but we are already at the point where I need to put it on the last block, but near the top is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna drill uh, the concrete anchors in, and the box that I bought the anchors, the, it already came with the masonry drill bit. So we're gonna get those drilled in, run the fencing wire all the way across, and I'll go over how much they've grown versus what's in the sun, what's in the shade. Uh, some have, you know, grown just a few feet, some have grown several feet. So I'm gonna get started on this real quick. We just finished putting in the concrete screws and the fencing wire. I know typically or generally you don't have to put something like this up, but I like the idea of knowing that once it gets mature, it will not fall down. At least hopefully it won't fall down. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we planted these around five months ago and I had no expectations whatsoever that they were going to grow at all this season. I was prepared for them to not really start putting on any growth until spring of 2021. So in five short months, we've had some of these grow almost six feet. Now some have only grown three feet, but I would say the majority of them have put on far more growth than I ever thought they would this, this season. I wanted to explain that, um, and you'll see when we pan out, not quite yet, but there's four plants that, that are near the shed and they get a lot of morning sun and afternoon sun, but they're, they're heavy on the morning sun. And then about eight of them here, right in front of my hydrangeas, they mostly get shade. A little bit of filtered sun in the afternoon and then there's four near the end of the wall that are hit really hard with afternoon sun. And here in Central California, uh, we uh, it's been a long summer <laughs> uh, ready for those cooler temps to, to start coming our way I think it's we still have some low 90s and high 80s so I'm really looking forward to those 70s and 60s but with our long hot summer these have all done very well I did want to point out that when I did the video back in April we put two gallon per hour emitters on we changed that to five gallon per hour and mostly that's because we have such strict water guidelines here so they're all they all get equal amounts of water but they do get different kinds of shade and sun throughout the day so I've already fed part of this that's attached to the wall because some of it was a little bit hanging down and you can see how it's even grown past the block wall that's crazy I never thought it would grow this much this season. So what I'll probably might do, I'm on some of the, the tendrils, I'll start feeding it uh, hor horizontally <laughs> uh, through the wire, uh, just to encourage growth, you know, that way. Here in Central California, I think our frost date, our first frost date is sometime in December. Don't quote me on that, but I think, I think it's either late November or early December. So, with us having still a lot of warm weather, I venture to say these are gonna just continue to grow. I know that it'll still slow way down come wintertime, but come next February, March, where it really starts heating up for us here in California, I can imagine that this wall within just one year's time, a lot of it is gonna be to the point where you can't even see the block wall anymore. So I'm really excited, really excited to have that happen. Looking at this now, 
I'm kicking myself for not doing this a long time ago because I just had no idea that they would grow this much. Maybe it had to do with the biotone that I put in here. So that is a product that I use on everything that I plant. That is Foma Biotone is a game changer in anything that you do planting in your yard. And I hope you guys enjoyed the update because I am so excited that they've grown this much. And now with this extra fencing wire up here, it'll give a lot of these tendrils the opportunity to kind of relax and not fall forward and strengthen it to uh, attach to the wire. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.